It's always live. Always. Always live. All right. Um, so basically, yeah, one of the main differences here, I'm actually going to be controlling both players by myself. I have my controllers uh, rubber banded together, and this allows me to kill the bosses much, much faster. And it allows me to do some of the stages faster as well. There'll be some death abuse you guys will see. So, so yeah, uh, whenever you guys are ready, just let me know. Okay, we're ready to go. I'll do a count on them. All right. Three, two, one, go. All right, here we go. So you'll notice I'm going to be uh, carrying quite a bit. Main reason for that: number one, it's easy, and number two, it uh, serves as lag reduction. You basically you count as one sprite when you're carrying the other chipmunk. So you're going to see this cool throw move right here. That actually deals damage to enemies. Um, so unlike in the first game, like if you throw your partner in the first game and they get hit, they, they just get hit. But in this game, it actually is going to deal damage. And not only does it deal damage, but it deals twice as much damage as just like a normal box throw or something like that. So very advantageous in the boss fights. Um, so you'll see right here, like I can kill that enemy and it gives me like half a screen because I get to the door quicker. And you're going to see a decent amount of death abuse in this run. First death abuse is going to come here. Saves a ton of time. Um, normally what you have to do is you have to wait for Zipper comes out of that box and then he has to fill up that whole tank with water. Um, I think you save about like four or five seconds just from that alone. And this boss is the worst boss in the game. Alright, he has very random patterns. Oh, that was bad. Okay. Um, try to recover here. I gotta play it kind of safe because this boss is such a jerk. <laughs> He's that bad. Um, Alright, yeah, let's just... Where are you? There we go. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's right. really hard to get those super throws somewhere. Yeah, because so. there's only certain spots that he can stand where you can actually get the super throws. Mm. And then, oh, the one-ups are random as well. And I did not get a one-up with Chip, which is a bit of a problem. Um, in this game, you actually want to avoid those R's because what they do is they um, they don't give you one-ups in this game. And there's a countdown at the end of the stage, so you avoid as many as you can because... Oops. Little enemy manipulation there, you just have to let your thumb off the D-pad for a second, and then that bat will go the opposite direction. There's a lot of lag in this game. You can't do a whole lot about it when you're doing two players by yourself. Okay, so this boss normally would take five hits, but the double damage means it's a three cycle fight. As long as I don't mess up, that is. So normally you're manipulating him to throw those little things on the ground, and then you pick them up and throw them at him. But see, I just do that, and then we're good. So I really need to get some one-ups with uh, Chip here, because he's on one life. So hopefully we'll be able to do that. Okay, good. Um, and there's some death abuse in this stage, but I'm gonna have to skip it just because this is a marathon run. It would be very dangerous for me to go for the death abuse here. Oh, I already messed up. <laughs> That's okay. Um, you can like cut the corner up here. You have to die with uh, both players. So a little bit risky. If I had gotten one up uh, in the earlier stage, I probably could have done it, but I did not, so... Gotta be careful here, too, the jump height. Very finicky. You can That guy can hit you very easily, so I was making sure I didn't get hit. This is another very difficult boss fight here. Let's see if I can kill both these enemies. Alright, nice. Got them both. That kills a little bit of lag. this up. Uh, I'm gonna have to wait one extra cycle now, I think. Oh! Get out of there, dude. <laughs> Alright. Okay, that's fine. 
I'd rather just be alive there. Those are very short platforms, so you have just enough time to charge up your throw. It's 30 frames. Oh, I didn't get the two up. Chip is Chip is just hurting on lives right now, man. <laughs> Marathon luck. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna take it a little safe here. This this stage is very dangerous. <laughs> nice. Okay, got through the difficult part. All right, that was a very good climb on both ends. Oh, darn it, dude. I got them backwards. <laughs> okay, I didn't get, I didn't quite get the jump height I needed. All right, I need some one ups here. Chip, Chip needs one ups, dude. Okay, there we go. Uh, so this is Ghost House. This is like the easiest stage in the game. If we were doing donations, this would be the time, but I don't think we're doing that. So <laughs> I'll just talk about how those guys have ridiculously small hitboxes for the size of their sprite. They look like they could hit you, but they just don't. <laughs> is it only the middle part? Ah, uh, yeah, I think it's only the middle part. It has the hitbox. So, yeah, this stage is just basically about avoiding the R's as much as you can. <laughs> That's like really all you're trying to do. Mm. So there, I, I avoided a bunch of them. Good job, me. All right, um, see what kind of luck we get here. bad. Oh my god, dude, please. No! <laughs> Alright, that was really bad luck. <laughs> Again. Alright, I still two-cycled him, thank goodness. Um, you can one-cycle that guy if you get really good luck, but that was, <laughs> that was not the good luck, so two-cycle is fine. Okay, I'm getting so many one-ups right now, man, thank goodness. <laughs> I would have to mess up so badly now to like game over. <laughs> um, there is going to be a lot of death abuse in the next stage. Next stage is Clock Tower. There's a lot of vertical climbs, some death abuse stuff, and a difficult boss, so it is kind of dangerous. Um, if there was one stage that scares me, it would probably be this stage right here. So let's let's see how it goes. Alright, first up we gotta get this important damage boost to skip a cycle on these uh, these little things here. Oh, okay, barely got it. Alright, you have to wait a second there, because actually when you're in the hit in the hit stun animation, you can't scroll the screen. It'll screen lock. See otherwise you have to wait for those things. Alright, death of these coming up. allow me to get to the exit earlier. Uh oh. Blech. That's not good. Oh, that's bad. Okay. I have enough lives, it doesn't matter. This guy's being a jerk, man. <laughs> Cut it out. Okay, this is a better pattern. Get bopped. There we go. Okay, that death was actually not that costly because that was a very quick death. And I have, like I said, I have enough lives that it should be okay. Nice, okay, yeah, there's there's no way. <laughs> All right, so this is Dale's time to shine here. Western world, Dale's gonna take over just because he spawns in front in one of the next screens coming up. Ah, I missed the re-grab, oh well. Can't get all the tricks, right? Okay, it's all you, Dale. Yeah! Go, Dale. Alright, so basically you just have to avoid, avoid these falling boulders. That's all you're trying to do. So you just have to slow down the cart. But in two players, this is actually the most annoying stage, just for the fact that um, it's really difficult to keep both players on the cart. It's very easy for one guy to fall off. Um, and there's a ton of lag also, as you'll see here. So right here is going to be the first part where I gotta be really careful. Alright, good. We got through. 
very, very easy to die there. Mm. Alright, one last auto scroller screen, and then probably the most annoying, well, maybe the second most annoying boss in the game. I don't know. There's a lot of annoying bosses in this game now that I think about it. Yeah, the bosses are incredibly random. <laughs> Alright Dale, I think you've had enough fun. Back to Chip. Alright, so this guy is already being a jerk. Alright, fine, we're gonna do that. There we go. Alright, I gotta be careful now. You can't have both of these guys die at the same time or you're in deep trouble. Oh, crap. Okay, we got him. So yeah, you can expect to have some deaths on that guy. That's, he's just a total jerk, because he can go to any of those platforms and then he can either throw cards or he can run around. You don't know what he's gonna do. Total random jerk. More one-ups, dude. <laughs> it's like the greatest one-up luck of all time. All right, here we go. Big skip coming up here. I really gotta nail this. Got it. Okay. So I can just death abuse there. Um, that saves you a cycle. That's like a good like four second time saver versus if you were doing a one player run. Yeah, those stumpers are. Alright, I'm just gonna take an intentional damage boost here. Now there is a safety one up. This is one of the. I think it's the only one up in the entire game, actually. That star right there. Otherwise, you just have to get them in between stages. All right, once again, Dale gets to uh, he gets to shine a little bit. So this is a super annoying boss because you can't you can't abuse the two-player mechanic against this guy. Um, it'd be nice if you could stand on top and throw these things over, but you can't. Oh, that chain thing blocks them. Dale has so many lives, I don't even care. I'm actually just gonna suicide just so this is faster. Yeah, I was messing around a little too much there. Try to bait this guy into dropping his thing. He's totally random though, it's, he, just, he, he drops it when he wants to drop it. That's <laughs> basically what it is. You just hope he doesn't uh, wait too, too long. Alright, and then you have to project when he's going to start coming forward, uh, because that's when you have to throw it. If you throw it too early, you'll just miss him. See like there, I could have missed him. If I, had, if I had thrown it just a hair earlier, I would have just missed him. And then you have to wait a whole nother cycle. And I believe it's eight hits too, that's the worst part, man. This guy takes eight hits and he's just uh. a total jerk, as you can see. Alright, that was close. At least it's only the back wheel that can hit you. Yes, that's true. Otherwise it would be pretty unfair. You can jump up and throw it at him too, which you, you can see that in this game also you can do these diagonal box throws, which you can't do in the other... Uh, in the other game. So, all right, we're coming to the final stage. Of course, uh, Fat Cat is once again the the villain in this game. You'll get to see him in a different form somewhat. All right, so I'm actually going to stay separate here. I'm not going to do a carry right away because I'm going to do this. I got to hit this stuff. Get on there. Got to hit that little. Ugh. <laughs> get him. Got to hit that switch to move these things forward. Otherwise, they're going the wrong direction and it takes forever. Uh, unfortunately, you can't damage these stuff there at the top, but oh well. Lag factory, okay. Um, so from here on, we're gonna do some carrying, and then we're gonna do a nice balloon strat that uh, uses the death abuse. You get a health refill here also. Whoops, I missed my throw. I was supposed to throw, uh, I was supposed to throw Dale. Monterey Jack, he comes through with the cheese. Get that health back. All right, once again, gotta move these things forward. Oh, got boosted the wrong way there. That happens sometimes. I'm not 100% sure why that happens, actually. Right, bop this guy. Okay, here comes the death abuse. This allows you to stay at the front of the screen if you do it right. Okay, there we go, got it. So now I'm gonna be at the front of the screen. Those things can't hit me. which allows me to get through very easily. And the game then tells you to watch out. Danger! Danger, fat cat approaching. 
We're gonna have the spell it out. <laughs> yep. All right, so it's possible to one cycle Fat Cat, but it's pretty tricky. There's a lot of lag and you have to be very precise with your movement. So let's see if I can get it. Got him! Alright, that's time. Oh, sick. Really nice run, man. <laughs> was, that, was that decent? Pretty <laughs> good. Let me guess, it was, uh, I don't have anything up. I'm gonna guess it was a 14-15. Uh, close. Close? 14, let's see. 14-30. 14-30? I'll take it, dude. That's, that's good. That's a good run. <laughs> Yeah. I overestimated. Oh, I forgot. I had the death. I had the death against that uh, that one boss. So, mm -hmm. so yeah. So that's Rescue Rangers two, and uh, I'm gonna be back later on tonight for Double Dragon two. Hope mm -hmm. you guys are around to watch that, and uh, just keep on watching, man. There's so many more awesome NES games to be played. So, yeah. Up next is Andrew G. Andrew G. Dude, the G. This guy is a legend, man. You have to watch. Andrew G. If you're not watching Andrew G, you're doing it wrong. So, all right, guys, I'm going to drop out at this point. Thank you very much. I will be back later tonight. Yeah, thanks again, sister. Thank you, sister. G block coming up here. We ready for 457? 457. All right. It's going to set up here. Did he 